Hello guys and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see a specific layer which is called on every page. So you should go over the layers tray, expand it and here layout by default creates this layer on every page. The thumbnail is a double page instead of just one like the rest of the layers and this is a very useful tool because it will allow us to work with master items. And what is a master item? Well, a master item is an object which will appear exactly in the same position in every page. So we will save a lot of time if we use it correctly. One example. Let's go over the scrapbooks tray. I will expand it. I'll use this TV simple folder. And here I have this drawing which says progress drawing. Click and drag. I release on my paper document. And we can check that we have some visual problems because our element is not complete, right? Here it looks complete. And the reason is because our layer on every page is placed in the last position. It is placed under all the rest, right? So if we don't want to have problems like this one, we should move up this layer and place it in the very first position. Then we can check how our drawing now is perfectly correct. Once we have fixed this little problem, let's place this element, for example, here. One click outside and let's change the page. As you can see, the element appears in this page number two exactly in the same position and in page number three, more of the same. So when we have understood the logic under this on every page layer, let's see how can we add a title block in our paper document. So I will eliminate this element. And in order to draw that title block, we have two options. We can do it manually using the drawing tools from layout, or we can use a template. If I go over file, new layout offers us in this welcome page an option called title block here we have many different options i recommend you to open most of these paper documents and check what is your favorite title block for this example i will use this one inside the rounded category a3 landscape one click here a new document will be opened and here we have our title block. I can select it, go over edit, copy. The shortcut is control plus C, then go over my file and press control V. A new window pops up and the message says entities will be pasted to layer on every page. This is correct. So, okay. And here we have our title block perfectly pasted in the same position of the paper document as in the original. Look that if I click outside and I try to select it, this time this element is not a group. We have different objects, so I recommend you to do it by yourself. Select all the elements, right button, make group. If we move now to page number two, you can see how our different text folders will remain the same, but the number of this title block is changing. Here we have number two, and in page number three, the number is three. How can we do that in case that you wanna do it manually. Well, first of all, I will select my group, two clicks. I'll go inside the group. I will select the number and I will delete it. One click outside. And now if I move over page number one, we can check how that text field is empty, right? So we have to do it by ourselves. First thing that we have to do, and I will scroll in a little bit, is to go inside the group, press the text tool, one click and create our text field. Once we have just to type in our text, then let's go over this upper bar, text, insert auto text. We have another option called customize auto text, but in this example, we'll use insert auto text. So here we have many different auto text options. The one we are looking for right now is page number, right? So one click on here, and a strange code 
will appear immediately in our text field, but don't worry, everything is correct. We have just to click outside and then the correct number of our page pops up. We can select it and edit it. So text style, let's increase the size, 14 points. Let's align the number in the center of the box. There seems okay. So one click outside, another click outside, and here we are. Now, if we move over the next page, the number is changing correctly. The rest of the entities in this title block are not auto test. So if I go inside and I change this label drawn by, let's say here, caps lock Manuel, that is my name, escape. And let's go over this second option, description. And the title says seat description. Here is a good opportunity to learn another auto test. So I will go inside. I will select specifically this box. I delay seat description. And instead of writing down normal text, I go over text again, insert auto text. And this time I will use page name. The code appears, so one click outside, and now we can read page 3. The reason of this title is because if we move over the pages tray, page number 3 has this name, page 3. So we can change here the name of the page, swimming pool view, and then the name changes as well in this title block. So if we move now to page number two and we change here the name of the page, let's name it as entrance view, enter. We have a new description in our title block as well. And finally, let's do it again in our page one. Let's call it floor plan and section, enter. We could continue editing and fulfilling all the different labels of this title block, even this logo. And for doing this, we should go over File, Insert, and bring here our JPEG, not complicated at all. And then our document could be ready for the next step. So time to say goodbye. Don't hesitate to leave a comment in case that you need it. And I will see you in the next episode in where we will go deeper into the tools, update model reference, and relink model reference.